Hello guys, uh, I'm Vyom Gupta and I study at the Cathedral in John Cornyn School. And today I'm going to be talking about an IYPT 2023 question. Question 9. Oscillating screw. When placed on its side on a ramp and released, a screw may experience growing oscillations as it travels down the ramp. Investigate how the motion of the screw as well as the growth of these oscillations are dependent on relevant parameters. Okay, so first I feel it is imperative that we uh, actually talk about the structure of the screw before we jump into the oscillations and the growth of the oscillations and the parameters related to them. Okay, so if we look at the structure of a screw, it is basically one cylinder, like a disc, with a large length and a smaller radius connected to a head. So this is called the tail, this part is called the tail. And this is the head with a larger radius and like it's less thicker. And we can see also that there's uh, these parts, these things which are known as threads. However, in this problem, the threads are not important to us. And so we can like remove them. And actually, if we look at the important structure, uh, we take this, this uh, screw to look at the cone. Because actually, if we see this cone, if we take like uh, from different heights, from different distances, if we take like two cylinders or two discs connected by a cylinder which connects both of them, right? Uh, we actually get the structure we require for this problem. So um, to clarify that more, so if we look at the structure here, we can see like there's one axis running through it, which is at the right angle from both of these discs at the at their central point. And here, these are the two discs of different radius. So, okay, I feel, um, and here there's an angle theta from the ground at which it is, when it's placed on the flat ground. So I feel that's enough to explain the structure of a screw. So let's go into the problem now, more deeply. Um, so here, using the same structure here, uh, from a side view, from a better view, from the front view, we can actually get, dive into the problem. So if we put it on a plane, and we give it some motion, if we just push it a bit, we, we will actually see that it has like a rotatory motion and uh, to, we can use the right hand rule to find this out, right hand thumb rule. So when we see its rotation, so first we know there's this axis, right? So we can roll our hands in the direction it's moving in and here we get this axis, we have this axis and this vector in which I have named omega in which the angular velocity vector works. However, the interesting thing is because of its structure, this is not the only axis around which there's rotation. So actually, when we see its motion, this view is a little better, the top view. When we see it moving, we can curl, again, we can, keeping in mind this angle it's making from the ground, we can curl our hands in that direction, right? And that'll actually give us a second axis of rotation, which I've named omega dash, along which the omega dash vector works, omega vector, work, vector works which is at an angle theta from the z-axis which is the same as the angle theta this forms, forms from the ground okay so that's pretty interesting now we understand a bit about its motion I'll be talking a little bit more about it so to talk a little more about it I feel it's important that we understand this formula which is angular velocity or omega is equal to uh, linear velocity upon the radius. So we can say that linear velocity is equal to angular velocity into its radius. And I mean that's pretty applied, it's pretty logical. And so if we look at it, like if we look at the top view of it, we can see something interesting that due to its structure, due to the structure of the nail, what happens is that for a given change in theta, so in a given change in angle, this, the, the center point of this nail will make the same angle as this one because it's along this axis, right? So in a given change, like if it's moving, like this moves from here to here, this will also move that given angle theta. And this is pretty interesting as we can see because of the distance here. Here we can see it also has like a smaller R distance. The second disc is at a shorter distance from this um, omega dash uh, uh, axis. And this, uh, the, the second disc is at a greater distance R from it. And here also, from this axis, you can see that the smaller distance has a smaller distance r and this one has a greater distance r. 
this causes something pretty interesting which is like if we apply the formula here for a given change so r is greater than r and we know that the, the omega will be the same this will have a greater speed right this will have a greater velocity and that means that it will cover a greater distance than this in a given change in theta and that's pretty interesting because that is actually tackling the problem itself which is that why is that this rotatory motion it is because this is traveling a greater distance than this one so it moves like this this lopsided distance is what it caused this rotation so now that we have understood this i feel we should go into why does the nail face growing oscillations why is it growing so to understand this i mean it's pretty simple think about it when you put something on the slope we know there's like this acceleration working on the body on the system right we we'll learn the formulas and all so and so because of this acceleration right we can think about it first on a plane what we understood was is that it's rotating like when we give it its motion what happens to the screw is or what happens to the cone is it starts rotating it's rotating and now there's a given acceleration pulling it down the slope when we place it on the side so along with this rotation it's also moving ahead right so this is pretty interesting and this is what we actually call its helical motion as to why how it comes down the slope and now to talk about why it's growing i feel we should go back to this formula which is pretty important which is uh, v uh, or angular velocity is equal to v upon r and we can basically see that what is acceleration acceleration is basically a constant growth in v right so while v is increasing we can also see that r will be constant because this we have not changed the system we have not changed the nail so the r r here will remain the same but v will constantly keep increasing right so at different points we'll see that the angular the angular velocity will also keep on increasing and that is basically what causes the growth in these oscillations so when a given time will take more oscillation will go start rotating faster okay so that solves this question and now let's go to the growth parameters of the oscillation of the screw and actually i feel like again this formula we will we'll be using it uh, you all can just read through the first two which are also pretty important but i'll be mainly talking about the third one uh which is dependent which it talks about this value v so what can we do we can basically we can change the inclination of the slope to a certain limit to a certain limit so that it just doesn't like fall down or just doesn't slide down so to that certain limit when we change its slope what happens is that we are changing its ability to change v right it means acceleration will be more and the value of v will increase faster over time so due to this and again we are using the same system r so because of that uh, uh what will happen is that uh, angular velocity will increase over time and hence it will start taking faster oscillations and yeah that's pretty much it and uh, these two problems if you can read it please read them it basically tackles the pro problem of r and how changing r will change it and we can very simply see that by reducing r in certain ways we will be able to attain a greater angular velocity which is basically the growth in these oscillations okay uh, i really hope you understood whatever i've explained in this video sorry for talking fast and explaining a bit fast uh, but uh, i hope you enjoy the video and thank you